Do you ever feel like you're putting yourself under pressure to appear perfect on camera? Let me tell you a story about that lens. Back in the 90s, 30 years ago or so, long before we started Idea Decanter, I worked as a photographer in a food studio where we shot the point of purchase posters for Burger King. It was a production. If you think back then, we weren't using digital cameras. And for posters, we would use a huge eight by 10 camera using, you guessed it, eight inch by 10 inch sheets of film. And Photoshop, Photoshop was not what it is today. There was no AI help. I mean, heck, it took hours just to clean up an image after you had already paid a couple hundred dollars to get your film scanned. And so we strive for perfection in camera. We had a team of food stylists in the kitchen building the perfect Whopper. And I mean perfect. They had trays of burger patties with a choice of grill marks. Stylists were digging through buckets of pickles looking for just the right size and shape. Every piece of the burger had to be styled perfectly to camera, right down to gluing sesame seeds one by one on the burger bun. But turn that burger around and you know what you would see? A mountain of toothpicks and makeup wedges holding that Whopper together. It's all smoke and mirrors. So why do we constantly strive for perfection? At Idea Decanter, we hear every day from advisors, I'm afraid I'll look bad, or I hate how I sound on video. But here's the thing, we all do. Even movie stars don't watch their films. You are not alone. I've been there, we've all been there. Here's the secret. When you allow yourself to be who you really are, not who you think you are in your head, it's so much easier. Sure, I put on makeup for my videos, iron my clothes, which honestly is the only time they get ironed, and even comb my hair. Not saying you can't look nice, but don't worry if you make a funny face while you tell a story. If your voice cracks with emotion, it adds to the authentic feeling of your story. And in the end, you don't wanna be that whopper with the glued on sesame seeds and the toothpicks holding it together. You wanna to be you.